Hello and welcome to the Cash Box, a Thief to Fan mission by Brethren. Uh, also made for the 48 hour contest, so expect small, expect janky, uh, and uh, let's see what it's going to be. A mysterious benefactor has hired me to break into an abandoned warehouse and steal an item located in the office safe. The only problem, he didn't tell me what that item is. But for what he's paying me, he doesn't have to. Well, as long as there's not too much stuff in the safe for me to carry off, that sounds... Sounds okay. Didn't tell you what it was, but he doesn't have to. There's been some odd stories going around about this building. Make sure you get out in one piece. Right, let's go in. Whoa. That's a big drop. I'm almost surprised I didn't take uh, full damage there. What is... Oh, the script is... The message is not being read. I wonder if we're getting... Uh, uh, it's not reading. I wonder if we've got some bugs. I wonder if that's a known bug or not. How's this supposed to work? Oh, the pipe is climbable. Should I try jumping over the fence or not is the question. You know what, I'm going to try jumping over the fence. <coughs> Not like that. There's probably nothing out there. Let's just, let's just reload. Alright. Curiosity sorted. God, it's four unit high. Uh, four unit high holes are not good thief design because Garrett can only sometimes fit through it. <laughs> Look, I know I was trying to sneak sneak in and it was kind of embarrassing, but you know, don't rub it in. Just because I'm not doing a hundred percent perfect job of sneaking. Maintenance. Alright, we're gonna need a key for maintenance. Do we have a map? No. Do we have a notes page? No. So I guess I'm gonna have to remember information it's kind of weird that I can't mantle that okay not right there. okay anything else not good about this room some power switches but all the generators are on turned off so not like turning the switches on it's gonna get any better what do we got under here just more crates Oh, none of these are working. I don't know if that's on purpose or if they just never found the time to make it work. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not on purpose. What I meant is, I don't know if it's because of a scripting fail or whether they just never found the time to make it work. What do we need to say? You know, it's, it's like the story is what you make of it from what you can see. Right, we've got lots of keys. Locker. I forget what the first one was. Maintenance. Maintenance door was locked. Locker keys locked. The drain is locked. Oh. We dropped a crate. How careless of them. Missing a rail there. That's, that's a hazard. What's in this pile of crates? What's on this pile of crates? Anything? Some spooky footsteps, but... Left. Well, there's some maybe some valuables there. So it looks like the office I need to get to, perhaps. Did you see something? 
Just the wind, I guess. Ah, this could be a problem. I'm gonna need a code, and I don't know what it is. Maybe one of the other notes had it. Hmm. Wasn't there anything else in this room that might tell me it was there? Okay, well, I did not yet find out why the books aren't working. You know what, I should do that. Let's just wait here. Alright, well, let's go see if that... What's this script's readable now? Or whether this... Does Documents. I mean, they're, they're, they are, they do exist. I mean, other scripting stuff is obviously working, but... Oh, the maintenance door opened. No, this was not the maintenance door. That's the door that I opened. Aha. If, if anyone has seen Pags or Timmons recently, let Supervisor Hadley know ASAP. These guys never miss a day of work, and suddenly they go missing on the same day. It's bizarre. After the unfortunate accident with Wickland last week, things have been very strange around here lately. Not saying anything improper is going on, but it's best if everyone keeps their eyes open. And what was the first, first note we found was... What was the first note we found? Was the one in here? Oh, it was outdoors, right. Alright, well, you know what? I'm curious enough to know to ask what it says. Let's go. Let's go stack some crates and get out the window. <sighs> Guess we might as well start on here and, and give ourselves a little uh, extra height. Besides, if we need a quick way out in case things really are spooky, I mean, I don't believe it, you know, it's all this nonsense about spooky occurrences, mysterious figures seen running around, it's, it's all just nonsense, completely <laughs> it's just nonsense. Okay. You can climb two, you can climb two, okay. Garrett, I heard you went into that spooky warehouse. <laughs> and you came out looking rather the worst for wear. What happened? Did, did a ghost uh, attack you? No, I just uh, had some difficulty climbing a window. Well, I guess I'm not going to find out what it says. I guess we're not getting back out again. Whoops. Pags and Timmons went, but, you know. Alright, but now what do I do? Because, uh, all the doors are locked. I'm gonna reload. We're back here. It doesn't seem entirely worthwhile to waste uh, health on that. I guess I wasted some on it anyway. <laughs> Nothing on that crate. Is there anything under the lift? 
No. I could cheat. I do know what the code is. I did see it in... in uh, the book files when I went to look. But... I feel I'm not expected to do that. Maybe there's something along one of these passages? A gap between crates hiding something? There aren't very many gaps between crates at all. This one doesn't seem to have a thread of its own either, so there's no doesn't seem to be any discussion of of uh, you know people asking where can I find such and such and someone else saying oh it was here. Which is unfortunate for me. just that. So we have a locker that won't open, we have a door that won't open, we have a drain that won't open. I'm guessing the drain is going to be the last one that's going to be our way out or something, but where is the key? Maybe there's a key hiding under this pile of boxes, well you never know. Nope, but I guess it was worth a check. And I couldn't get on top of these. Oh, I couldn't from that side, I can't from this side. That's a little odd. I could. There are enough crates that I could build a really big stack of crates and get back out the window, I think. Like, build a really big stack of crates so it's just a staircase. Hmm. I'm not sure. Like, I know. Th I do you know the code, but I don't... I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure if the code I need is... The question in my head is, did the, the message on the wall outside, is that, is that the one that told me the code? Or was that a different one? I don't know at the moment. Oops, that's not good. I'm trying to avoid damaging these. That's what I wanted. Travel and get it. Right, one more. <laughs> well, this should be doable. Oh, except the whole crouch situation. be able to walk into it, not not merely crouch into it. And we have 
Samson. <laughs> Terrible feat of physics. Okay. All right, we got out again. Now does this work? By order of the City Watch, this building has been condemned. I do not enter under any circumstances under threat of prosecution leading to mandatory jail time. See Commissioner Hardy with any legitimate concerns or questions. Well, that is not the answer to my problem, but it is at least uh, more, uh, you know, backstory, I suppose. Where the hell is the key that I need? Oh, keys that I need. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna restart just in case there's some scripting that didn't fire, because we know there's at least one piece that didn't. Right, these weren't working, so maybe there's some more um, that isn't working. It's possible. So we know that, <laughs> yeah, some of it was, but if anything was dependent on other stuff that Teenage Script does, um, then, it, then it might just not be working properly, and that may have been why the mission failed. Uh, obviously, these ones, these messages, the script on them only affects whether you it works at the moment you're looking at it. So like, if those needed uh, something, they don't change state, right? So they work immediately when I make sure the scripts are available. But if there was anything else that changes state that depends on TNA script, um, then I, then we're gonna need to know. You know, then then a restart is needed to make sure it works. There's no key on the windowsill. So it's a figure walks by, and maybe that's going to give us info about maybe they're going to have opened one of the doors or something. When you see a spooky figure, you always follow them, right? That's that's always the right thing to do. No. They did not open the door. So it starts back in the same boat. I don't want to have to load this up in drama to look for the keys. It's already too much editing of, of debug stuff to figure out, but... How's, how's people even played this? Where's this key hiding? <sighs> oh, I have no clue. <sighs> Unless it is on top of one of these and I just missed it. Let's just take another quick look. And you think if it was, it'd like be in a pool of light or something. sign of any key. Alright. I think I'm gonna go open this up in Dromed and find out where the key is. I don't see any other way forward. Okay. Unfortunately, after tracing locks and keys in Dromed and learning a little too much about what this is in store for us, I found out what I'm missing and it is this. I just completely did not see that in the dark. So 
we can go outside and see a missing texture. It's fine. I don't know what the texture is supposed to be. I mean, it's obviously a wall, but it was not there in the game file, so. Okay, the turret does not seem to be active, thankfully. I hope it stays that way. It would be, could be bad for me otherwise. But what I already know. Okay, so this is where I need to be. It's a crowbar. Huh, bunch of corpses. What do you know? Well, we have a crowbar. We can we can open something with that crowbar for sure, right? We can jam open the locker, maybe. I say maybe. I know perfectly well. This is the key for the locker door. All right. What's this we've got? Maintenance key. Okay, we're back on track. I would have rather have found out that from a hint. Um, I didn't unlock this door. Excuse me? Excuse me? You're being spooky again. I can't explain all the equipment malfunctions around here lately. Just overnight we suddenly have all this faulty machinery going bad at the same time. But that lift that broke in Wickland's accident was just purchased last year. And those generators aren't that old either. Now I'm having issues with the security key out by the office door. I shouldn't complain, this leads to a lot of job security for me. But I ain't never seen anything like it. I rebuilt the keypad but still don't know what went wrong with it. Switch the code to 1968 just to change things up a bit. Right, we have a code now. Onward. Oh well, uh hey, your keypad has problems. Alright, is this the safe that we need to rob? Can we pick the lock? We cannot, we're gonna need a key for that too. Get on here. Can't read that. Small crates. Nothing not hiding anything. Code hooks. I'm gonna read this one. Things have been going well at the facility here lately. We're almost at maximum capacity and have some exclusive customers that are paying well. I'm supposed to meet with a new client today. He apparently has some delicate or fragile items he needs stored from some sort of expedition he embarked on recently. Sounds like he's got money. I think I can find some room for stuff. I'll just need to move a few items from our cheaper clients out into the yard. The new client paid me a year up front today. I can't even believe it. We moved his stuff in the main area this afternoon. He was so secretive about his cargo that I can't help but wonder what's inside. But our clients pay us to be confidential and discreet, so that's the way it will be. All of his crates are fitted with a lock, and he insists on keeping the key himself and not on premise. Fine by me. I wonder what he's got in there. This is so strange. I feel uncomfortable even writing it down. I walked by one of those new crates and I could have sworn I heard faint voices coming from within it. It had to be my imagination. I figured it had to be the heat or maybe I've just been under too much stress lately. But an hour later I walked by and heard it again. And then it suddenly stopped. I'm not sure what to make of this, but at the moment I'm not feeling too good. I'm meeting with my brother tonight, late, here at the warehouse, to finally take the plunge and find out what's inside that crate. We're going to relieve the night crew, make up a story about doing inventory, and then bring the crate up to the office here to open. Jal thinks he can pick the lock, and we can return everything to its original state within a few hours. I have to know what's in that box. I haven't been sleeping or eating well, and I've been having hallucinations. And as crazy as it sounds, I think it's because of whatever's inside there. So tired. Can barely write. Barely write. Garlic um, Difta. Can't see well. Not much longer now. Bottle of Funziman. 
Must put item in cash box. Strong. Then in wall vault. Safe there for now. Key on top painting. Do not open. Check the top of the one. Saddle for rattler. Kunta. There. Key on top of painting, huh? Oh, can't even take the loot. It's that cursed. Wall vault key. Okay. Oh, hey, there's somebody there. I wonder if it's the guy who just left us on our note. Hello? Is somebody trying to get in here? Or are they just trying to scare me? And the door doesn't open, so that's unfortunate for me. What is that door? Am I stuck? I guess... I guess I can go back to my old crate stacking uh, ways. Just in time, too. He does not seem happy. He seems very amused, but not happy. None of those open. <laughs> Can I pick the lock? No. Do my keys work on it? the question of course but uh I mean nothing's happening there that look there's a sewer key right we can get out through the sewers not before we get a little more loot right Wait, we can get out through the sewers. I guess the door there is open. I was going to say, how am I going to get out through the sewers? But Oh. Well, a sword might come in handy. Do we have to kill whatever it is? The thing goes on here. Guess we're gonna have to take a take a risk. Oh shit! It was not fully successful. Oh, there's more of these things. Sewer key, sewer key. Make sure we've got the sewer key handy. Farewell. Alright. 
You managed just to escape with that skin. I guess the first mission I've had with the invisible hammer horns. Uh, all right. But we made it in, we made it out, we didn't find the loot. Well, there were those three wine bottles. Is that the 150? But we couldn't pick them up. They were too cursed. That was the, th the, the, the cash box. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you here for the next mission.